Rumi, one of my favorite stories of Rumi is the three, there's an Arab, a Persian, and a Roman. They're traveling together on a road, and they, they've come across this dirham, and they all grab it at the same time. And uh, so the, the Arab says, inab, we have to buy inab with it. And the Persian says, no, 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 we buy angur. And then the, the Roman, he says, no, 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 we, we're going to buy venitas. And they're all words for grape. So they start fighting each other. And Rumi's, his comment is that all that was needed was a good translator. <laughs> Part of the problem is language. One of the things that they point out here that I really believe in is that when people say, I don't believe in God, Muslims should say, well, what's your definition of God? Because I might not believe in that God either. A lot of people don't believe in an unbelievable God. That's true. Simple as that. There's a book called Why God Will Not Go Away. And this is a neurobiology of belief. People are wired to believe. And, and there's, it's just truth in that. It's as simple as that. And people do have beliefs. So unfortunately, you get caught in these kind of mind games. And I think ultimately, for me, it was a car accident. You know, sometimes it just takes really powerful shocks to wake people up out of that type of slumber. I mean, Sheikh Saeed Ramadan al-Bulti in Kubra Yaqiniyat al-Kawniya says that for the Muslims, the atheist is a sign of God. Just the fact that somebody can deny God in this world is a proof, not only of God, but that he's merciful and compassionate. <laughs> that he can walk around and say it with impunity. I don't believe in God. I mean, some of them will do that. I don't believe in you. <laughs> you know, I mean, what, what is that? And then they say, no lightning bolt came down. Like, so really, people, those people will say that. Okay, if there's no God, strike me down right now. Just strike me down, God. If you're really there, do it. God's merciful. I mean, Sidi Ahmed Zarruq said for him, one of the biggest proofs of God was sailors. Because he said that they're some of the worst people on the planet. And he said, and yet, they can safely cross an ocean. <laughs> No offense to any sailors. <laughs> <laughs>